Uh, Ryan McFadden, are you there? Do you have a question for Vets? Oh, no, I don't have a question. I forgot to take the um, – Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, how about uh, Jacob Richmond? Why don't you start us off? Hey, Pats. Uh, so this upcoming game, obviously every game has been important for you guys in the Big Ten, but uh, this one in particular seems pretty big, just going in on a win streak and Indiana playing really strong as well. Can you talk about uh, – it's the kind of game that you were kind of hoping to play in when you came to Maryland, and if so, you know, what is it like, you know, seeing this that, that this game is on this up next? Yeah, man. Um, you know, Indiana is a really good team. You know, they have some really good players over there. Um, you know, I feel like we're we're trending up right now. So, you know, it should be a really good game. I think it's going to be a wide out. So it makes them um, a little bit more juice coming into this game. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, when I come into here, I wanted to play and um, games like this. You know, every Big Ten game is kind of like um, very important. Um, the record game was kind of lit, too. So, you know, I'm just excited to just keep getting the opportunity to put on a Maryland uniform and play. I'll leave Kareem. Hey, man, hope you're doing well. Um, kind of off your point, it seems like not just you, but but the rest of the team is also starting to find their groove. Um, how how crucial is it to kind of maintain it? And, and what are you guys doing differently to kind of stick with that momentum? Yeah, um, you know, we put a lot of pieces together um, during this offseason season. You know, it didn't click right away. Um, nothing, nothing good really happens um, right away. We just had to, um, you know, click at the right time. And I feel like we're we're starting to do that. Um, we're not all the way there yet. Um, we still got to clean the, um, some stuff up. But, you know, for the most part, our chemistry is um, expanding. And, you know, everybody's enjoying playing with each other. We're learning more about each other as the days go on. So, you know, it's exciting to see, you know, where we could be, you know, coming up to the end of the season. And just a quick follow up. What do you know about, you know, Xavier Johnson? Obviously, Indiana kind of runs through him a little bit. Um, how excited are you for that matchup ahead? Um, yeah, I don't really know much about him. We watched film on him yesterday. Um, you know, he's pretty good. You know, he's a strong guard, very athletic, you know, defends it really good. So, um, you know, it should be exciting. It's going to be a good game. Um, you know, physical team. I feel like we're a physical team as well. So, you know, this game is going to be really exciting. Josh Banner. Hey, Fats. Um, can you talk a little bit about your relationship with uh, Eric Ayala? Um, and you know, coming off of one of your best uh, dual performances, and you know, you two being uh, you know some of the leaders of this team. Yeah, you know, me and Eric just challenge each other. Um, you know, he challenges me to be a better leader, and I do the same with him. Um, you know, we knew each other for a long time. Um, you know, I, I feel like he's one of my close friends and. Um, I'm glad to have the opportunity to play with him this year. You know, in the beginning of the season, it didn't go as well as we planned, but we just kept fighting. This team's full of fighters. Um, we have really good leaders that's not going to stop, um, me and Eric as well. So, you know, I just feel like our, our relationship has continued to build and, you know, it could be special coming up. Uh, Ryan or Jacob, any follow-ups? Yeah, I have one. Uh, I, hey, Fats, uh, my question for you is, at this point in the season, how have you adjusted to playing in the Big in the Big Ten Conference? And just what is your comfort level? At, excuse me. What is your comfort level at um, playing in the Big Ten? Yeah, you know, I'm getting comfortable um, more and more every game. Um, you know, our coach staff does a great job with, um, you know, putting me in positions that um, will help me be successful while we're out there. You know, um, the physicality bothered me at first, you know, the first probably one or two games, but, um, you know, I continue to work in a weight room, um, continue to watch video, watch film, and um, just get stronger um, physically and mentally. And, um, you know, I'm just going you know, to keep getting comfortable as the game's going. Anything else for Fats today, guys? I'll just I, – I, I'll ask one more follow-up. Uh, just You mentioned the physicality. Just Could you just, like, talk about, like, the difference you've seen, like, the physicality – um, in the Big Ten compared to the competition level you were playing back at Rhode Island? Yeah, well, um, you know, the big men in the Big Ten, they're like 6'11", 7 foot, you know, in that range. And then, like, the wings, are, um, instead of being like 6'4", they're, they're more like 6'7", 6'8". Um, and then the guards, the guards are way bigger. 
So, um, you know, that just makes the game, you know, more difficult when it's more length and more physicality. Um, you know, off the ball, it's a lot of grabbing, tugging. Um, going to the rim, you're not just going to get clean layups. So, um, you know, that's something I had to learn. I had to learn it quick and um, make that adjustment. Any more questions for Fats? All right, thanks, Fats. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow.